Hi, this is my final vlog entry for my Theater 201 class, Intro to Cinema. I wanted to talk about the 2005 short film Bartholomew Song, written and directed by Destin Creighton and Lowell Frank. A quick summary of Bartholomew's song is Bartholomew 467 is just like all the other workers living in a society with strict repetition. His days are the same every day until he comes across a mysterious music box. He then makes a decision to explore this new artifact, which he knows he shouldn't do. This new music box leads to more explorations, eventually leading him to kill the girl worker that was in charge of the voice over the speakers that gave all the other workers directions. At the end of the film, the audience sees that he might have influenced one of his other workers and that anything that is considered different is defective and replaced, even people forcing their society to stay the same. During this vlog entry, I wanted to focus on the sound and overall mise-en-scene of this short film. I will first discuss the sound. The sound throughout Bartholomew's song helps reiterate to the audience the repetition of the story. The audience can hear when the workers cut the foam cubes and also when they are walking in line, they are all pretty much in sync with each other. The voice comes coming out of the speakers while they are working is also very consistent. The prominent thing that becomes inconsistent during this short film is when Bartholomew 467 finds a sound box. Scenes of him playing it and singing along to it are slightly different each time. The short film, the sound in this short film is a very important aspect to help get across the story and the way society works to the audience. I will next discuss the mise-en-scene. The way the actors look, from their costumes to their hair, are important for helping tell the story. The costumes that the workers wear during Bartholomew's song are important elements that add to the story because they are all the same. White jumpsuits with their number on it. The workers also have generally the same hairstyle, combed over into the side. This helps add to the strict repetitive feeling of this short story. I also wanted to bring up the characters acting. All the workers act the same. They all have the same hand motions, for instance, when they're moving the blocks, and um, they generally all have the same dull expression on their faces. The light pale greens and whites used throughout the short story can be associated with order and cleanliness, and the setting of the story is very, very important to take note of. Everything looks remotely the same and is very simple. If one takes a look at every time the workers are in the working room or even when they are outside walking to get there, the scenes are shot from the same angle. I also found it very interesting how there are no really crazy camera angle shots. The scenes are either shown from far away or they're shown from up close. Having um, the audience's eye centered on what's going on or what they should be focusing on once again going along with the repetitive theme. As you can see, repetition is a major component of the short film. Repetition, according to Barsam and Moha Monahan's book, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, um, looking at movies 5th edition from 2016, the number of times that a story element occurs in a plot, repetition is also, also signals that a particular event is a noteworthy meaning or significance. And that kind of wraps up my final vlog um, about the short film Bartholomew's Song. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks.